Oi pessoas, tudo bem? Hoje eu vou falar sobre sotaques britânico. New cut today. It says, cool. In case of emergency, ring the bell for my Flamengo supporters. Cheers. If it's your first time watching my videos, welcome. I'm Jake, I'm from England and I am learning Brazilian Portuguese. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, it's Fale Com Jake, and make sure you follow me on Instagram, it's Fale Com Jake. The link is in my bio beneath and the subscribe button is just down there somewhere. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. If you haven't seen my previous videos, make sure you go check them out on my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk about British accents. In my small little country, we have such a wide variety of accents. Some of them uh, are difficult for me to understand. Some of them are just completely different uses of the mouth. Something that I find very interesting, learning a new language, something that I never noticed before, is how we use different parts of our mouth to pronounce words. Something that I discovered while learning Portuguese is, you know, using the, the nasal to pronounce certain words like pão. In England we have accents that we actually use different parts of the mouth. That's how varied they are. So I've got some video examples that I'm going to look through today with you guys and we're gonna point out some words that are pronounced differently amongst these regions. Um, I've chosen five different regions across the UK to look at. We have Scottish accents. The guy I'm looking at he's from Glasgow so it'd be more specifically the Glaswegian accent and then we also have a Liverpool accent which is known as the Scouse accent. Uh, we call people from Liverpool Scousers. Uh, we'll also be looking at the Newcastle accent. People from Newcastle are known as Geordies, so we call it the Geordie accent. And we'll also be looking at the London accent. People from London are called Cockneys, so we'll be looking at the Cockney accents. And finally, we'll be looking at the accent of my region, the Southwest, specifically Bristol. We call people from Bristol Bristolians, so we'll be looking at the Bristolian accent as well. And I'm hoping that I can kind of point out some words to you and you guys can recognize some of the different sounds that are used across the region of the UK. I know in Brazil you have a wide variety of accents as well. I'm not too familiar of how to identify those accents. I would love to make a video about it, but I haven't been able to identify the different regional accents just yet. Okay, so let's get started. Let's, let's take a look at the Scottish accent first. This is exciting news. You met President Obama or ex-President yes. Obama ex last now year. unemployed. Now, uh, how, did that, <laughs> how did that come about? That's my girl fit. We put Obama in the middle of that photograph, so if we ever split up, we can crop the picture. Yeah. <laughs> so, first of all, one word that I always use to describe a Scottish or Glaswegian accent, girl, girl, the way they say girl is girl. And was he in the audience as well? Was he enjoying the show? Uh, I don't know if he enjoyed the show. That might be putting it a bit strongly. And the way he says strongly as well, strongly. I think when you're on stage, you're obviously enunciating a bit more, so you're trying to deliver the jokes. I think day-to-day -day life is difficult when I travel. Yeah. Like Australia, 40 degrees. Day-to-day -day life when I travel is very like, they're using the front of the mouth, using a lot of the tongue against, against the roof of the mouth. And this guy never understood what I was saying when I was asking for water. Yeah. Water. Water. We say water. <laughs> so there's only so much you can play with yeah. on a word like water. Yeah. Try to make that tea work. We like to get the tea in a headlock. So I'm going water. And then what always happens is an English guy translates for us. They just appear. And that's pretty degrading when somebody is interpreting into the same language. That's... <laughs> That kind of speeds up your heart rate. <laughs> He's actually asking you for water. The uh, Scottish accent is definitely one of the most difficult accents to understand across the UK. Next, we're going to look at a Liverpool accent, which I said earlier is known as the Scouse accent. A Scouse accent with Maggie. Maggie, how do you say a book? <laughs> book. Book. And how, how do you... How can I have a chicken in the breakfast? 
you can have a chicken in the breakfast if you ask for chicken in your breakfast. Breakfast. So a lot of people from Liverpool, I mean the Scouse accent, it comes a lot from here. So when they say like buch, 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 they say book. No one in, in any other region, uh, maybe in Scotland, I think they use a little bit of throat. But it's very specific to uh, Liverpool, this accent and this way of talking from the throat. Certainly don't do this in the south of England. Uh, we say strongly book. And she also says chicken, chicken, which is chicken. That's you're um, not making that up, that's your no, accent. No, that is actually speaking skulls. Very interesting accent. And here's an example of an English guy um, telling Americans how to speak Scouse. And he uses the example of saying, a I want a chicken and a can of Coke. So like the Scouse accent, so if you want to talk like someone from Liverpool, you say this, this phrase, you say, I want some chicken and a can of Coke. <laughs> okay, You've got, you got to try it, okay, you two. Okay. I want some... So, chicken, chicken and a can of Coke, chicken and a can of Coke. A can um, in American English is a tin. Chicken and a can of Coke. I want some chicken and I want a horse. <laughs> Very good. I want some chicken and a can of coke. I want some chicken and a can of coke. <laughs> it works. And that's how to speak Scouse. <laughs> Let's take a look next at the Newcastle accent, also known as the Geordie accent. We have to yeah. like slow down when we speak, say mm. with T's, and you know, make sure we don't sound too Geordie. Yeah. How slow do you talk? How slow do you talk? I'll just be like, hi. Oh, I can't do it. Someone else. She, she goes, <laughs> this, is, but this is the thing. She goes, hi, I'm Jid. Hi, I'm Jid. And they go, Jid. Jid. I call her Jid. We say Jade. And in, in, in her accent, it sounds like Jid. 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 No, Jid. Jid. She's Jade. Like Jade. <laughs> I'm Jade. And then they get it. They haven't got a clue what she's saying. You see the pics and were they, were they, uh, <laughs> did you look good in the bikini or was it? Mm, I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> and I got pet with a colour and in book, which is even worse. Now Call nobody's going to want it ever. Colour with a what again? A colour and in book. Well, I'm, I'm sure, what is she saying? I'm a like, colouring book. A colouring book? Why would you? So, <laughs> her band members had to translate for her. She was speaking about a colouring book. And the way she says it is completely unidentifiable to the American guy. It got better, because when I first met Jade, I'm not joking, I did think she was foreign. <laughs> <laughs> I did, but she's a lot yeah. better now. Yeah, yeah. 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 that you say, like, weird. Can it so wait, as Jade would say? <laughs> can he wait? They also say this in Scotland, it's like, when you say, I can't, you say, I canny, I canny. I canny wait, I canny wait. Um, and canny... It just means can't. He saves the world quite Superman. a lot. Superman. No, he's the different one. Another Spider-Man. No. Superman. 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 And Spider-Man. Spider-Man. The Geordie accent. When, it, when it's really heavy, when someone speaks with a strong Geordie accent, it's actually probably one of the hardest accents to understand across the UK. Cheers. Uh, they also say this in Newcastle, why I man, it just means like, it's, it's, a, it's an absolute regional expression, which just means like, I agree, like, yes, it just means yes. You can say it's really hot today, isn't it? No, why I man, it just means yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the London accent, also known as Cockney. So I'm going to show you a famous actor in the UK. He's been in various films and now he stars in one of the most famous London-based soap operas. Um, now, I, I'm going to talk to you about um, EastEnders. Every so the interesting thing here, the guy that's interviewing, he is from born and raised in West London. Uh, he speaks with what I would say is quite a posh accent. Um, and the guy who is being interviewed, answering the questions, he's from East London and he speaks with what we call a typical Cockney accent. In London, there is quite a wide range of accents, depending on what part of London, because you have North, East, and South, and West. Typically, West can be a little bit more upper class, um, and East can be a little bit more working class. Not to say that there isn't areas in West London that are working class, and they can have quite a strong Cockney accent as well. But 
This is an example of two people born in London speaking with quite different accents. One uh, who is a fan of EastEnders is very excited that you um, are joining the show. Yeah. So talk me through it. You get a call um, yeah. on the dog and bone yeah. from your agent. On the old dog, on the old dog. So in London we also have Cotney Ryman slang. So he says, you got a call on the old dog and bone, which means phone. Uh, Could you Adam and Eve it? And then he says, Could you Adam and Eve it? Which means, Can you believe it? <laughs> Did you run no. straight up the apples and pears to tell your trouble and strife, or was it down? And he says, Did you run straight up the apple and stairs to tell your trouble and strife? Apple and pears is stairs, trouble and strife is wife. On the rubber dub yeah. dub to have a few pig's ears with your china plates, that's mate. He says, Or did you go down the rubber dub dub, which is the pub? to meet your china plates, which is mates. I'll pull that back. Um, now, I, I, I'm going to talk to you about um, EastEnders. Everyone uh, who is a fan of EastEnders is very excited that you um, are joining the show. Yeah. So talk me through it. You get a call um, yeah. on the dog and bone yeah. from your agent. On the old dog, on the old dog. Uh, Could you Adam and Eve it? <laughs> Did you run no. straight up the apples and pears to tell your trouble and strife, or was it down the rubber dub yeah. dub to have a few pig's ears with your china plates? That's mates. Well done. Pig's ears is beers. <clears throat> it's eloquently delivered, that was. Fluent in Cockney. Oh, beautiful. Fluent in Cockney. Cockney rhyming slang. You're of a, more of a Disney fan, aren't you? Like? Love a bit of Disney, yeah. yeah. Old yeah. ones, new ones, which ones? Oh, whatever, whatever, whack a bit. Whatever, whatever. I use, like, instead of ER, for example, where I'm from in Bristol, we say whatever, and in London, I say whatever, with ends with an A. Disney, and I'm all over it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see Cinderella the other day. Oh. Cinderella the other day, the way they say die. Die. Say day. The other day. I'm well choked up. <laughs> Even though I know the ending, it's, it's just, as soon as that foot goes in that glass trotter, I'm gone, mate. I'm... So he talks about he went to watch Cinderella and he said, as soon as the foot goes in the glass shoe, he says, uh, trotter. Trotter means like shoe. Um, trotter or is like a pig's foot. But for some reason, we use this as a as a way to say a foot, just a foot in general. Your big trotter, your great big trotter. If you've got a big foot, you call it a big trotter. Yeah, up against the uh, Bake Off, what else, Game of Thrones? Yeah. Silla. Oh. The way they say, uh, he said, Bake Off, Bake Off, Bake Off. He misses the K completely. Bake Off, Bake Off. Oh, yeah, with Sheridan Smith. They? Yeah. They're all good, though, and that's a hard one to pick. Yeah, they're all right. It? They're all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> And the way they say all right, all right, all right, it's all right, all right. It's very typical Cockneys to say all right, all right, how's it going? Okay, so next we're going to move on to the Bristol accent, which is an accent from my region. And we're going to take a look at some of the words that stand out the most. But when you're speaking with a West Country accent, we do pronounce the R. So, for example, if we were to say the following words. Farm. Farm. So I do a long vowel R. It's farm. We, in Bristol, we pronounce the R's with quite strongly. and We make it longer. Farm is normal way to say it. In Bristol, we say farm. Warm. Warm. It's quite warm today. It's quite warm today. Lover. 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 Again, with the ER, lover is normal. Lover, lover, lover is how we say in Bristol. We really pronounce the ER in words. First. First. So you'll notice I'm doing uh, uh, nice and open, and Tom does er. <laughs> first. First and first. Okay, so let's have a look at it in conversation. How long have you been living in Noel for then, my love? 55 years. 55 years. All my life. All your life, yeah. Mm. And what, what have you seen, so what was it, say, what was it like when you were growing up in this area? Or... Well, for start, when I was growing up. Um... Also in Bristol, it's quite common to add an L onto the word. Um, he says area, um, but he says aerial, aerial. We have like an A-W-L. 
sound onto words. Aerial and area. We didn't have much here. We also drop the H's a lot. She says we didn't have much here and the way she says it with her accent, we didn't have much ear. There's no H, it's completely removed from this accent. Remember the swimming baths being built because um, I just lived down the road. The way she says baths, bath, we say bath. The correct way to say bath is with bath. Uh, out build the roof mm. on there and when we was little, school holidays and Saturdays, we used to walk up the road and take him his lunch. Yeah. And that, so I can remember that being built. The, this up here at Philwood was full of shops, both sides of the roads. It was mm. full of shops. And busy? Really busy. Busy, busy. To say busy, busy, busy. We had like an AY for some reason. Really busy. Melvin Square, there was lots of shops. Newquay Road, it was all the shops. Inns Court, mm. Jarman's. It was all, there was no empty places. It was all full up with people selling stuff. And, and we had all sorts of stuff being sold up here. Sorts, sort, sort, sorts of stuff. Sorts of stuff, sorts of stuff. You know, this very, very, uh, very concentrated on the R sound in Bristol. Shoe shops, clothes shops, wool shops, butchers. 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 In standard English, a butcher. Butcher. But in Bristolian English, butcher. Lots of stuff. Whereas if you look around now, we got nothing. We also add uh, S onto some words, like looks around. If you look around now, if you looks around now, we add like an S onto the look. So we say if you looks around. I have no explanation for this. <laughs> it's just completely strange. So yeah, that is a summary of the Bristol accent and that is a summary of accents in the UK. We have many more different accents. Um, there's so many more that you can research if you're very interested about accents in the UK. And there's a lot of dialects, a lot of different words that we use across different regions. It's one of the most complicated things about the English language. And if you were coming to live in England, um, I can understand why it could be so difficult for you to understand English in general because there's so many different accents and dialects. I hope that my video showed you some insight into our accents and the way that we speak and I hope that it was helpful in some way. Um, I would love to do a video about Brazilian accents. It'd be very interesting if we could study this at some point. So that is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe and like my video. Um, and make sure you follow me on Instagram, Falecon Jake. I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.